I'm Mike from Music Radio Creative. In this video, I'll show you how to use the noise gate in Adobe Audition. A noise gate can be super helpful uh, when you've got a recording and you want to get rid of any noise inside your silent parts, but keep the speech. For example, here and here, where we don't have any speech in a voice session, in a podcast, you want there to be absolute silence. Let's have a listen to this. Transformation success. For digital transformation success. Hello and welcome to... Okay, so that sounds fine. When you hear the pauses, there's really not much noise at all. You might think that's possible. That's fine. Um, but not necessarily. Uh, you can switch on spectral frequency view by clicking this icon here or hitting shift and D. And this will show you all the noise occurring in the silent bits. And as you can see, big red line down here, lots of bass rumble, uh, potentially hiss or um, uh, rumble from the microphone or whatever. Uh, also, there's probably a breath here, which is seeing these purple artifacts here. And we can even increase this sound, this silent area by going to favorites, normalized to minus 3 dB on that selection. And whoa, that is quite a lot of noise where there should be silence. Yeah, there's a breath, there's some background noise, uh, there could be a fan, whatever it is, we want to get rid of this. And this is the purpose of a noise gate. It opens when we're talking so we can be heard and closes when there's no speech. So it gets rid of the, the hum on your microphone, maybe. Uh, it could be a fan, whatever it is in the background, noise gates will eliminate this if you set them up well. So how do we get started? Well, first of all, let's take a sample of this audio and we're going to go into a window here called Amplitude Statistics. And we're simply going to click Scan Selection and find a very special number here, which is the average RMS amplitude right here. Average RMS amplitude at minus 36.12. Let's call it minus 36, okay? Once we've got that number, we know how to set up our noise gate with ease. I'm going to go into the Effects menu, Amplitude and Compression, Dynamics, and I'll set this to default, bring it in the middle for you. And I'm just going to use the auto gate strip on here. No compression, no expander, no limiter, just auto gate, which is Adobe Audition's marvelous, fantastic noise gate. Okay, so this is set up at some pretty light settings, minus 20 dB at the moment. Attack one, release 100, hold one. I'm going to open up the preview window here so we can see in real time what is happening with this noise gate. And as you can see, because it's set at minus 20 dB threshold, anything above minus 20 dB is getting heard but anything below minus 20 dB will not be heard. This is pretty aggressive right now on this particular session, and you'll hear how a noise gate can sound if you set it up incorrectly. Digital transformation success. For digital transformation success. So you can hear her. It's really cutting out most of our voiceover artists. It's really, really tough to hear what she's saying. This is where we go back to that magic number, the average RMS amplitude, minus 36. And technically, if we type minus 36 as the threshold into our auto gate here, boom, the voice will appear in all its glory, and everything in between has gone silent and blank. Let's listen back again. Digital transformation success. For digital transformation success. Hello and welcome to Lee. And you can see it flicking onto green when the gate is open and the audio is being heard and red when it's closing. And really, with these default settings here, we don't need to touch anything else. Yes, it really is as easy as that to set up a professional noise gate on your voiceover sessions, on your podcast, whatever it is, any dialogue you're editing, noise gates are fantastic. Look at that. Applied. Gone. There you go. Spectral frequency. There is not a single artifact uh, when our voice artist is not talking. Really is wonderful. If you can, get a piece of hardware uh, like a DBX286S with a noise gate inside so you don't have to do this in post. But if you need to, if you sent a session or you recorded a podcast and you didn't plug it in through a processor or it's a USB mic, a noise gate is an absolute essential in my opinion. Let me know how you get on with noise gates. And if you've got any questions, do feel free to post them in the comments below. <laughs>